Can you please present yourself to our audience? Yeah, sure, I'm Roy, I'm the country business head of Twitter Indonesia. So it's a fun company to be with and the things that I can discover a lot of stuff. This is a very company that knows and it, it is part of it, you know, part of the things that can change the world. So I love being part of it. Sounds very exciting. Yeah. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more on how Twitter is uh, developing here in Indonesia and as well in Asia? So I think for Indonesia perspective, I think Indonesia for Twitter has become what we call as one of the five biggest Twitter users in the world. So, so meaning it's become the everyday of Twitter users. 77% um, of Twitter user in Indonesia is, is actively and 54% of it more than once actually doing something on Twitter on a daily basis. So what we see is that the Twitter users in Indonesia are very strong and they love to share content, create content or consume content. And we look at the uh, overall Southeast Asia, Twitter is part of the daily life of the people. If you look at Philippines, they actually have this LDAP where people are actually tweeting about a, a reality show, a TV show. So it touches point from celebrity, it touches point from politics like in Indonesia, it touches like from health information, so it touches all the realm of people, uh, everyday life of people in Indonesia and in Southeast Asia. Great. Uh, how about Periscope? Periscope is, uh, we call it as part of our video streaming uh, strategies, so we want to be want to be the leader in that. And the consumption of Periscope in Indonesia is very strong. Even our own president is actually using the Periscope when he visits our office in San Francisco. And it gets a lot of good traction for people to know. So I would say Periscope is an alternative for people to actually create content. Even before the TV create or live stream those content, now it's become the source of information of what's happening now and life. Great. Uh, since most of our audience is in uh, Europe, can you share with us some insights actually on how, in what different way actually Indonesians and Asians communicate over Twitter, over social media in general? So I think one thing for sure is that Indonesian, um, in digital world, they are more talkative, they're more chirpy. So they will tell what they felt, their interests very actively. Um, it can be, you know, so when you talk about quality content, it's a good mix between something that is meaningful, something that just people want to share. And if you compare with Europe, maybe a bit more seclusive, they kind of like, they share if they're carefully thought. So sometimes yeah. it's, it's a good mix. Uh, and I think that's good if you want to discover new things that are happening in Indonesia from a European perspective. You want to see how the culturally people do and act in Indonesia. Just go and follow some of the Twitter people in Indonesia. Oh, that's great. Um, any kind of social trends that you see coming in 2016 that you would like to share with us? I think the social trend is definitely like last year video. Video is people start using video and sharing video, maybe live like Periscope, or they're creating like creativity tools, six second loops like Vine. So I think it's become the everyday life where people are not just texting, but they want to share it, the live situation that happens there. So I think that's one thing for sure in terms of video, right? So the second part is people start using more on mobile and mobile. So it's now that it's not the future, it's actually the now where mobile is the front of the first time when they get introduced to internet is actually using mobile. So imagine that. So the time span are getting shorter because the form factor is getting smaller. So you need to be creative enough to create those interests for people to actually look at your content or, you know, share your content. That's great. Thank you so much. Sure. Okay.